this is your more girl and welcome to my channel hi today I'm gonna to do um, a project using resin um, last week I used um, quick water to do my floral arrangements and when I accidentally put some of my crystals I used for one of my florals into my silver tray that I got from the Goodwill I'm thinking oh this thing looks gorgeous so why don't I think about doing the crystals into the silver tray and what if it hardens so I thought I could use quick water, but you can't use quick water for that because that stays as a gel. So what you gotta do is get a product called pour on or resin. Resin, what it does is hardens. Okay, it's a two part process, exactly the same way as I did the quick water in my projects. And I will list that project below um, on my YouTube video. But what it does is epoxy and it hardens forever it's beautiful it's glass shiny it's like liquid acrylic so what i'm going to do is show you three projects i'm going to do the first what i'm going to do is the tray that i got from the goodwill that i confetti the second project is going to be the silver tray the third project is going to be my desk and the fourth one is called art resin which i'm going to actually do an art canvas peach piece using colors so the first thing you're going to do is get your ingredients. The first thing you need to do is get some pour on, and this is an epoxy. They come in different companies. I got this one from Michaels, and I got the largest one. This was $36.99. Plus today they had a 60% off coupon. So it was actually only $16. Then you want to get some cups for mixing, and you want to get the ones that actually have the measurements on it because you have to measure, measure exactly some plastic for protection because it's very messy and it will pour over. So you want that. A brush for brushing on the sides to, for cleanup. Sticks for stirring. Some putty nice for smoothing out the area. And the area also has to be leveled. And some, a detailed torch. You can use a torch or you can use a uh, heat gun. And with this item, what it does is help you eliminate the bubbles that will accumulate with the um, process. So you don't want any bubbles in your finished process and this will eliminate all your process. Either this, a torch, or a heat gun. This was at Home Depot for 25, but you can get it at any place. You can check it out. They wasn't available at Michael's. You're not gonna believe what happened. So in the middle of my YouTube channel, I went to test all my things, read my instructions, play with the bouton, and it didn't work. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? It didn't work. So I already recorded the top of the video. I went back to Home Depot and the guy was like, I wouldn't put that near combustible, you know, chemicals. I'm like, well, everyone does it. So I said, what about a heat gun? So instead of me, to me, that was a sign, you know, kept saying don't torch the neighborhood. So I went and got a heat gun, which is also used the same way. I know some people can blow on it to eliminate the bubbles from the resin. Some people um, use a hair dryer, but I'm like, nah, I can see me now with dust everywhere. And also when you finish your project, make sure you cover it. If not, you can have all kinds of debris, anything from hair to dust, anything, and you don't want it to ruin your project. So I got the heat gun instead. So we're gonna try that one, guys, okay? So I would just, you know, add again um, what this is. I already recorded the other thing and, um, you know, sorry about that, but didn't know. Thanks. Let's get started. So this piece here I got from Goodwill. It was an Ikea tray. I guess someone donated. And I, it was the brown one with the just basic white, you know, tray. So I painted it silver. And I painted, actually repainted the white part and added confetti. So this was a project I did. I mean, I didn't do a video on it because it was very simple. I just, you know, while the paint was still wet, I added confetti and I didn't put Mod Podge on top of it. So something like this, you know, which is very glistery, it's very, very pretty. But I figure I will practice with this one first using a resin and that way it will get a nice, clear, glossy finish to it. Okay, so if I messed up, it won't be anything that was very expensive. The second project I'm going to do is this beautiful, I think it was a $3 silver tray. It was so tarnished and I wasn't going to buy it, but I'm like, sometimes you got to look beyond it. And in my video for quick water, which I will list, I said again, 
Um, this is very pretty, the design. And I'm like, I don't really want to mess up the design, but I wanted to, you know, try to see how this will look, you know, with also the resin. And you can't use this with quick water because, again, the gel, it will be very sticky and tacky. And you will not be able to lay any pieces on it. So, I would prefer to do this. And you see how it's glistening? And hopefully that will still come up. I wasn't sure whether to coat everything high to harden it or just put a little coating. Because I do see the way it sparkles. I don't want to lose that effect. So, I'm going to do a little at a time and see how it is and slowly add it because you can always once it's hardened if you don't like the result you can always pour back on it and it lasts about it takes about 24 hours you know just like the quick water when you do a floor arrangement okay and i think that should come out really nice okay so let me get started and i'm going to start again with this one i'm going to take this apart because i'm not going to touch the sides of the tray i only want the center of the tray Okay, and you see that I have my plastic down because, again, this is quite messy. And you don't want this destroying any of your floors or carpet. Okay? So what you want to do next is you have your two bottles. One is your resin and one is your hardener. And you want to use four cups. The reason why is you want to use equal parts of resin and hardener. And they need to match exactly. If not, it's going to be sticky. Once you put the two together, you're going to pour it in here and stir. And then once you stir for two minutes, you have to wait and then pour the next one to stir for another minute. That is why you need four cups. If it's not stirred properly, it's going to be sticky and tacky. So you really want to read the ingredients of what you're using to do this. So my cups on the inside has ridges. So I'm going to use to the point where the ridges are so I'll know where it's soft. So again, this is a resin I'm pouring in. Okay. Next is the hardener. Because my cup here has the ridges, I know exactly is uh, where the two will meet together, and it is equal parts. Okay, so once you have that, you want to mix, pour them in the first cup. Scrape everything out. It really has a smell to it, so. And use a stick again. Okay, now the second. Now, when I did the quick water, I slowed very slowly. With this one, you don't have to. You wanna really stir it, and you wanna stir it for two minutes the solution and it will get very filmy but you want to keep starting for the two minutes because after that you're going to pour it fresh into this container so I'll be back in a minute okay so I'm stirring scraping to the side and I did it for two minutes now what you want to do is pour this mixture into a fresh container and this is how I say do it. So just follow instructions. Just do as they say. Don't try to shortcut something because if your project doesn't come out right, it's going to be a mistake. So. And these little um, cork containers you can get from Home Depot. They cost about 98 cents each. All right, so I have it in this container. I'm looking at my clock, and it says stir for one more minute. Okay. So again, you stir. This is what it looks like. It looks exactly like the resins. Make sure you scrape, and you 
also go to the sides and make sure you get everything. The bottoms, the sides, keep scraping your stick. Because you want it mixed thoroughly. And I have here about uh, eight ounces. So I poured four ounces from each, the hardened, four ounces from the um, resin, and um, it gave me eight ounces. Okay, so a minute is up. All right, this takes a while. So I'm gonna set up my project and bring everything back and show you how to pour it on, let it settle for the bubbles to come up, and then we're gonna use the heat gun. So the next thing I'm doing is I got these little cups you get from, um, I guess they little shot cups on the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put this just to hold it up and I have my level. So here's my project. I'm going to lay it down and level, straight, level. You don't want it tilted this way because you don't want everything just to pour off. And it's, you know, low here and high here. So that's why you want the whole thing leveled and straight. Okay, so now it's time to pour. So I'm starving, I'm starving, I'm starving. I did wait a couple seconds. So they said pour, pour immediately. Don't wait. So let me just give it another minute. It really pops your area. Now I guess you can see some of the um, air bubbles trying to form. So I'm going to get the heat gun. To eliminate some of those air bubbles. Okay, 
Okay, now I, this is project number two. I already stirred up my batch the same exact way I did before. And I'm using this thing that I got from Pamper Chef years ago, Meat Tenderizer. I'm using this just because I put my crystals in here. And I just want to make sure they are completely even on the side. So I'm just going to use this just to kind of pound it a little. So it's going to be kind of even. So it won't be lopsided. Okay. And as you see, I have my heat gun ready. So I figure if I pour, they might shift a little bit. I'm pouring around the edges. Making sure everything is coated without shifting the crystals. darkened it and it looks absolutely beautiful. I think some crystals is rising over here. Let me just make sure this is covered. I think I have everything covered. I'm going to wait for the air bubbles to come up and then use the heat up. Thank you. 